I saw these neat outline markers on Instagram, so I decided to buy myself a pack. I'm going to give you guys my review on these. So to start, you need to press the marker down on the paper to start pumping the ink. The effect of these markers create a silver metallic outlined by different colored inks. Drawing with these markers is satisfying, but also potentially extremely messy. They leak a lot and they will stain, so they need to be stored standing up. Overall, I give these markers a B-. I've been getting suggestions to try out these Sakura brand metallic gel pens, so here's my review on them. Right off the bat, I noticed that the ink wasn't nearly as glittery or metallic as the packaging suggested. And after just a few minutes, the ink started coming out very watery and thin. Even after shaking it, I couldn't get much more to come out. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to a different brand gel pen. I don't know if I just bought a bad pack, but I'd have to give these pens a C-. I found these cool glitter markers at Target the other day, so I'm going to do a review for you guys. To activate these markers, you need to press them down on the paper to start pumping the ink. These write incredibly smooth. I was actually so surprised at how glittery the ink actually comes out. Like, it's even more glittery than it describes on the package. I got these markers for only $5.99. I would highly recommend these. Overall, I'd give these markers a B+. So, I recently bought a bunch of these illustration markers from Daiso, and I'm going to give you guys my review on them today. The markers came in sets of two. Each set was like $1.50, making each marker about $0.75. Cents. They're also double-sided. One is a broad tip and the other is a fine tip. I was really impressed with their selection of vibrant colors. Like, I usually wouldn't find some of these in other standard marker packs. As for how they color, these markers draw really smooth. Like, they're not streaky at all. They're almost comparable to Copic markers. They even had blending markers. However, the colors did bleed into each other a bit. Overall, I would give these markers a B+. This has been one of my most requested things to do. Today, I'm going to review Copic markers. These are one of the most popular markers to use. They draw incredibly smooth with no streaks, and they're really great for blending. Copic has a huge selection of colors to choose from, and you can buy refill packs when your markers dry out. These really are quality markers, but they're also very expensive, which makes them more of an investment item. Overall, I give these markers an A.